this spot, nothing was going on. We spent maybe, what, 15, 20 minutes, a bump here or there, and all of a sudden, bang. It's a nice oh. fish. Yeah, this, this well, a trout or a trout fish to chase a shrimp right up to the surface. I happen to be fishing a Zeman shrimp, so that's convenient. That's the first keeper spec. Goodbye and thank you. And that's my fish. Out of 13 and a half inch speckled trout. But uh, yeah, this is, this is cool. We've caught a whole variety of fish so far this morning. So Mark and I have launched out of Empire. Never fished Empire before. And uh, pretty interesting. Got a Spanish mackerel, a couple sharks, big red, white trout, speckled trout. A lot of activity out here. Nice to see. Nice to be out here on a windless day. Almost windless day. I've been whoa, struggling whoa, whoa, whoa. with wind. Don't, Don't curse it. it. There's one fish you're forgetting to mention. This this really oh. cool fish that we've been catching <laughs> a lot of. Gaff tops. That's right. No end to the gaff tops as as usual. Probably this the summer. best the best eaten fish out here. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm trolling people. They are pretty good. Nice white meat, but. Maybe not the best out here. I hope it's not a catfish. I think it might be. Oh, I got hit. My spoon. Yeah, it's a gaff top. So I'm trying to catch a Spanish mackerel. All right, I got one. I got something. Let's see what it is. It's not a catfish. Not a catfish. Did I lose it? No, it's here. Might be a small Spanish mackerel. It's kind of a smallish fish. Oh, it's a big speck. Holy crap. Look at that. Something breaking bait behind us. I hear it. Look at this, guys. Caught a speck on a silver spoon. A 50 pound braid. There's fish all over in this channel. Uh, I was just thrown out in, you know, like 10 yards off the jetty. The fish are there. I love to be in a place where there's so much activity. Bait jumping, birds flying, fish get hit right there, got hit by the boat. Probably another speck it's following it. Got up to the boat and decided to take a swing at it. Trying to catch Spanish mackerel with this spoon, not speckled trout. I got this extended net. It's so much easier to net these big fish. Are you sure it was me? Huh? I don't think that was me. That was somebody else. Okay. I've always had pretty big nets, but I lose them. Well, it's That's a big one, man. I'm trying to baby him. I'm down. And... Close. I'm not gonna toss him. We're almost, we're almost done. Come on, man. We're not keeping you. No reason to get nervous. We just want to see your spots. Oh, and you barely you got him hooked. Need some help again. Probably. Right now, I'm just trying to get this. You know, we were just watching the surface of the channel here explode from bait. I think it's probably anchovies. Is they anchovies? You know, it's some like trout because Mark just caught a trout and I've been catching trout. He just caught a trout out of that. But it could also be gaff tops or. You know, it's a good thing that not all these pelicans are leaving the rocks. Here we go. I got one. I got, got one. Whoa, I got it. Whatever it is. Oh, oh big shark. Oh, that's that's a massacre. I'm not gonna not gonna be able to hold on to that one. Nope, it's gone. No, it isn't. It's still here. coming in. What is that? It's a shark. Oh. Thought I saw a redfish. Oh. 
got something here. Another trout. Another small trout. Get him in? I got him in. He's right here. Right to do that. This is what not so good about the sharks. So, there's a shark. That's the second little one I caught. It didn't break me off this time, so that's good. No, that's not a trout. What is that? What do they call these things? A little jack. Uh, a jack of some sort. Shit. I caught those before this year. I got hammered big time. Wow. Really hammered. I've got 40. It's probably another shark. Oh, you got that? Okay, I'm gonna get you. I'll go over top of you. What do I got here? Oh, another shark. This time I got 40 pound fluoro leader. It's a little bit bigger one. Boy, these things are a mess. I kind of like to keep them in the water if I could handle them. Ah, he chewed me off. Look at it this way. You don't have to. Yeah. Get lose your fingers now. Oh man. Another bait gone. second it was a t gonna be a shark but at least you got him in yeah there's another one let's uh Better. keep a nope it's off I haven't missed a cast yet no matter where I cast get a hit or a fish. Yes. That one I got in. A little male put this cork on and every cast I get to either catch a fish or just get a strike. These are small trout right now, but hoping for the big ones. So that was a tiger bait. Oh, uh, what is this? Oh, lost. big, big oh, Spanish mackerel. Spanish Ooh, yes. big one. Oh my goodness. Oh. That's like a 20 something. Nice, good job. Wow. Tom. So we're both fishing oh, underneath the popping corks. Really? Yeah. Okay. that about him. I have got a nice keeper trout there. That's another nice trout. Mark just caught a keeper. There's another keeper. We got a lot of small ones for a couple for an hour here. Every cast a small one hitting you. But uh, I've been noticing that the bigger fish there we go. They're not hitting ooh there's another keeper right there. It is. Yep. Oh, that's, that's about oh, come on, get up. Yeah, they'll just start feeding when they start feeding. They'll start feeding when they're ready. You can't push them. 
Oh, he's got a big one. I got. This is probably not a trout either. What have we gotten into? We're both hooked up on sharks. Yep. Oh, I thought you were the shark master today. Doubled up on sharks. Oh my goodness. How, what? Is this like, this must be like the fourth or fifth shark of the day for me. Assuming it's a shark, which I'm sure it is. No, it's not a shark. It's a big Spanish mackerel. Ah. It's a big one. Look at that baby. Whoa. That's what I was Hello. Shark. Destructive monsters. <laughs> so there's the third Spanish mackerel of the day. Another, these are like 20 inches. Really nice fish. Oh, there's another, this could be another mackerel. It's either a mackerel or a shark. It might be off, I lost it. I'll see if I have a bait. No, my bait's still there. That was definitely, that could have been a repeat. So, oh, he took my, took my hook. I'm going to get out my, get out the, my spoon. There's something hanging right there. This could be sharks, but if it's a mackerel, they ought to hit this spoon readily. There we go. What did I hook this time? Might have discovered a new method here. Silver spoon. For speckled trout. I know that's what the old in the old days it's what they used to yeah. fish. Before they had all the modern lures we have. I appreciate being able to catch these on a artificial lure without it being one of my ten dollar jerk baits that would be gone in a second because of all these sharks out here. Another shark. Oh don't say that. Oh. I don't want it to be. Could be. Oh. That could be a big red. Oh, that's a... Is that a big... Is that a red? Yeah, that's a big red. I think it's big, the biggest one I've got today. This is number three for the bulls. Ah! Off. Oh. Well, at least I didn't lose the spoon. <laughs> ah! So you never had a snag? No, it was just two fish. They had had me down. It felt wow. Like a snag. That's awesome. A croaker and a trout. <clears throat> oh, it's a red. red. It's a rat red. Oh, another hit. Oh, I got a fish. I got. I guess I got a fish on here. Oh, yeah, I do. So this thing, man, this this thing is responding. That's even a keeper, probably. I'm experimenting with lures today. Here's a trout on a new lure to me. The Nomad Designs Vertex. That's what they call a vibing lure. Heavy. See the toe points pretty far back. It's kind of like a jer uh, lipless jerkbait. Throw it out there, jig it up. It really shakes. You can feel it vibrating strongly. And Trout have been hitting. There aren't any really big trout here right now, but I think if there were, they'd be catching them. Another trout. It's another. This would be a keeper. Oh, definitely a keeper trout. The keeper on the Vertrex. They like this trout. Trout like this bait. Oh, yeah. A lot of trout. The big spoon. Yeah. 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 Look at that giant. Keeper trout, but giant spoon. <laughs> wow, hold on. Oh, dear britches. All right. 
This is our Manhattan boat. After stealing the bait, they also gave us a ride. So I know I'm fishing this Veritex crazy for trout because I got a 50 pound, like a big game mono leader, big old swivel, 50 pound braid. But I don't want to lose this lure and there's so many sharks here and also mackerel. So I don't want to lose this $12 lure. There we go. Trout. These little males are hitting this vertex. So I may, might not be have been clear on the camera, but this is actually a rubber bodied bait, except it's got like a lead, it's like a half ounce or three quarter ounce. It's heavy, heavy. This is all lead in this portion. It's got a rod, so from the toe point eye down, anchored in the lead, and it's got a wire that runs from the lead to the rear hook, and then this hook eye molded right into the lead. So, uh, so when, you, when you jerk up, it shakes. You can feel it shake significantly. And it's got that little V-tail uh, as well. Oh! What the heck is that? Shark? Shark. Man. Well, t we've had no lack of excitement today, that's for sure. I've got a fish on here. It swam away from me. It's another trout. It's a white trout. They didn't open the gates until like seven something. Okay. Okay. So this isn't... Uh, the lake is so hit or miss, right? Yeah. So this fish, this is might be a shark. Maybe it's a big Spanish. No, it's a trout. Wow, it's a decent okay. trout. I just had him on the side kind of. That's a decent trout. Look at that, another keeper trout on that. Vertrex. Oh, there's another one. Man, it's it's been a lot of trout here. Most of them are not big, but I've been catching them. Yeah, that's another keeper of trout there. That one's off, but that was certainly a keeper. Now I'm kind of in a every cast or every other cast. I'm at least getting a hit, not a trout. And I'm just, as you can see, I'm raising the, that says a hit right there, raising the bait, letting it fall. If you could feel this thing, it really shakes when you lift it up. That's the vibration part of the bait. We've been releasing a lot of trout. All the, we each kept four, so eight trout. We've been releasing since then. And uh, that's kind of our policy. Take what you need. And plus, we got three of those big Spanish mackerels, so we got a lot of meat, and the, we need those trout in there for the spawn this year. So, release over 20. There we go. Oh, as soon as it hit the water, it's a decent fish. Oh, yeah. So the vertex has been working very well. Oh, it's not there now. What do you know? That's what I was afraid of happening. I took precautions, but I guess it was a cleanly, cleanly sliced. Probably a shark. That's how it goes. Another keep the trout. There we go. Finally caught one on this jig. Man, I just really sad to lose that Vertrex because they just have not responded 
with the jig like they were on that other bait. Jig? Close to a 15 there. One thing that I, I'm really realizing now, with the jig I had to slow down a lot. Which is probably why I wasn't getting any hits at first. I'm still not getting the many hits as I was with the Vertrex, but the Vertrex, the thing about the Vertrex is that, whoa, that's a little jack. Oh, jacks! Realize the thing about the Vertrex is that I could fish it so fast. You had to fish it fast. It falls like a, literally a rock. And so you, had, you were fishing it fast and they were responding to it. So it felt really efficient with the jig, this 3 8 ounce jig, I got to slow way down. Or I'm out, I'm out of the zone. Gotcha. But I am getting hits with the, on the jig. Like that one right there. And we'll see what this thing is. It's pretty heavy. Might be a big trout. I don't think it's a catfish. Oh, it's a foul hole. It's a foul hooked trout. That's why it's so strong. Well, I might have to keep that one. That's a keeper and it got belly hooked. It's a decent trout again. Definitely a good 15 incher. Beautiful fish. Come back. Got a lot of fish down here. That's another keeper there. Yeah, the, the size has improved. Oh, ugh, wow, hammered it. Another keeper trout. I looked Coming over in. my rod hit yours, and all sorts of, whoa, shoot. So this, so this, let's see, what time is it? Oh. 121. So it's 120, it's 121 now, and the, the bigger trout are starting to fit, feed now. Uh, they, they hadn't really been feeding as much this morning as they are right now at 1.30ish. So, and they've been feeding, probably the last 45 minutes have been our best period. Yeah, people know about them. It's another good fish. And they're an obvious feature. And also... Sure, yeah, that's fine. I mean, yeah, that's fine. I mean, the thing is that a lot of people... There's another keeper. A lot of people don't aren't going to come all the way out here. There's another beautiful 13-incher. Keep. Lost the last one was a keeper. So uh, all these other boats left too soon. That's right. It's um. That's the. That's how how it's been this summer for me. The better fishing's been around noon, midday. Even though I still come out at, you know, early in the morning. <laughs> At there's another keeper here. Seems to be a good fish. Damn pelicans are going nuts. It's more energetic than I thought, but. Oh my god, I'd be yep. taxed like crazy right now. Yep. Another good but decent fish. But I had like fish. seven hours. So. Oh yeah, nice fat. Should be good to go. Email. A night schedule where I wake up right before sunset. I'm awake all night. I yeah. End up on what is this coming in? Something grab my fish. Or do I still have a? What do I have here? Yeah, look at that. That trout got grabbed by a shark. I thought something looked weird for a second. Yeah, look at it. It's it's all 
It's all scales are off of it. No way. I thought, oh man, this thing went from a 14 inch trout to a eight pound trout. But no, it, it got grabbed by a shark. Boy, the trout are still, still some nice trout here. A lot of trout. Still catching them on that jig. That's a matrix shad. Uh, uh, this one is the ultraviolet. That's a 3 8 ounce. Pretty strong tide right here. Right now, it's still coming in. And uh, it's nice. It's the perfect end of the jetty. Tide flowing past the rocks. Throw right up on where the rocks submerge and let it fall down into the deep. So many anchovies here. You look out over, it's just schools and schools of anchovy. They, sw they swim like six inches under the water and they'll often be erupting as they're evading predators. So it's, a, it's exciting time to be out here. I mean, this is one of the best trips I've had recently. We only drove eight miles from the launch, and then we're at the jetties here, and we haven't moved. And we've been here for like five hours. So rare for me, but the the wind is is calm today, and I haven't had a calm wind day for weeks. Zero to one foot waves. Yeah, and the waves are almost nothing out here. I don't even I don't think they're even one foot. And thanks for sticking around. It was a really good day. I didn't put a lot of energy into this day compared to my last two outings and it caught a lot more trout so can't complain about that so anyway keep uh keep in touch and uh, catch me on my next video